Hey guys, uh, Big Man here. So today we're going to be looking at uh, new gearboxes with our new modular engines, and we are going to be showing you, you know, how how the gearboxes work in the game Storeworks, and a few things that you need to know about them. So let's get into it. Okay, so. I've, uh, I've just set up this example testbed with a bit of fuel and we've got just some cooling, basic cooling, uh, with two of my engines that I've made. Um, uh, they're uh, Daimler Benz DB602 model engines. They work. Um, and yes, there'll be a whole lot of you in the comments being like, oh, they changed the updates so you don't need four of these, you can have one. Or two two of those but you know it, it's whatever it looks cool um and i'm just using two of these modular engine controllers z modular engine controllers i'll put the link in the description for that but what we're going to be looking at today is not the modular engines i'll do that in another video but we are going to be looking at how gearboxes you can see the arrows on them how they affect the rotation and the torque of your output. So as you can see, you know, we've got identical amounts of torque and you're wondering, hmm, why is there less torque on this one? It's because every gearbox you use, there is a slight penalty in torque. I'm pretty sure, actually I can't be, oh, I don't know what it is at the moment, but I will put it on the screen. But um, every time you use a gearbox, there is a small torque penalty. Um, it's a percentage, it's not a straight linear value, so keep that in mind. Right, so let's start these engines up. Obviously, they don't start very easily because they've got the flywheel. Um, I would suggest typically using a electric motor to start these. I will put these, um, well, these are on the workshop, I will put a link in the description for them. but start off with so we've got our engine running at essentially 10 rps um, they are running identically same they've got the same values for cooling they're identical in logic and everything so as you can see we've got 10 rps coming through this gearbox and so 10 rps 168 torque 10 rps 160 torque so as a result, this wheel will have 10 RPS and 160 torque. Same with this one, as you can see. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit these two gearboxes, which are geared at a 2 to 1 ratio. And so what this will do is, based on the direction of the gearbox, it will either multiply the torque by 2 and divide it by 1, which is the 2 to 1 ratio, so it just ends up multiplying it by 2. Multiplying by the 2 by 1 ratio, or, multi or multiplying the RPS. Now, this one will do the torque as it is facing away from the power source. Keep that in mind. The gearbox facing away from a power source will multiply torque by the ratio and divide RPS by the ratio. One of these with the arrows facing towards the power output, being the engine, will multiply the RPS by the ratio and divide the torque by the ratio. So let's get a 2 to 1 gear ratio. So as you can see, now with this one, we've got 10 RPS there and 5 RPS. We've got 10 RPS coming in, 5 RPS, but you can see the torque on this, the torque on this, we're at 324 torque. Which is a lot of torque when you consider it. But we're only ro rotating 5 RPS, whereas on this one, 10 RPS, oh look at that. Yes, we've only got 89 torque, but we're going at 20 RPS on this wheel. Because we've multiplied our RPS by the ratio of the gearbox, which is 2 to 1. 10 times a ratio of 2 to 1, or a fraction of 2 over 1, being 2, makes 20. Now, 
there are there are many gear ratios and at the end of the day there is no way of me saying hey this is the golden gear ratio although it seems to be that people really like the nine to five gear ratio i don't know why it just people seem to like it most but at the end of the day it will require you to do a lot of testing sometimes a little bit mostly a lot to actually get these correct uh, every vehicle is different you know you can't just chuck in gearboxes and expect them to work perfectly okay now that we've got that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off that ratio so we're rotating at 10 RPS and we're going to put them into reverse they've both got a gear ratio of minus one and as you can see I don't know what's happened there. Hmm. Well, that ain't working. We've had a... Uh, we've had a bug there. But, when it comes to RPS, unless, of course, uh, they've added a feature where Torque gearboxes can't go into reverse. It's probably that actually. So let's look at our RPS gearbox. You can see with the reverse gear, it takes in, which is in this case our power B, so our kind of short end, takes in the 10 RPS we're getting, and it reverses it. Now keep in mind that with reverse gearboxes, this only happens with the RPS. The torque is not inverted, as you can see. Yes, we've got a torque penalty, as always, because of a gearbox. But the torque is not inverted. Because the torque is not a value that can be negative. Rotation per second can be negative. Torque as a value cannot dip below zero. Just a fact of life. Okay, so let's turn those off. So, they will uh, they'll slow down slowly because of the flywheels. This one's already slowed down because it's... Yes. But uh, now you're probably wondering, like... How do you test for stuff like this? You know, how do you know when to add torque, when to take away, take away RPS, stuff like that? The simple answer is, if it's not moving, if it can't start, increase your torque. If it's skidding around on the ground too much, increase your torque if it's shooting up rps instantly like if it's you start it and you hit the full throttle and it just shoots straight up to full rps increase your rps with one of these so keep in mind if you want to increase the rps because your engine's finding that you know it's too easy to push this thing use an rps gearbox get more punch into your wheels or your propeller or you know whatever you're using your fan i don't care it's your thing if your thing's not starting because there's too much load use these now keep in mind that you don't have to always just use one gearbox you can use multiple um, for example you could use a, a nine to five and a three to one and you could use that let's say this was nine to five this was three to one you know we can use both of these at the same time to get a 27 over 5 gear ratio being multiplying the ratios uh, it's the same with this you know you could end up having a situation where you know if you had enough gearboxes theoretically if we had you know five of these gearboxes we would end up getting a 32 to 1 ratio because it's at a 2 to 1 and it's just about playing around with this but Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if there is any specific content that you guys want me to post um, or do videos on, I've got a couple ideas myself, but if you guys want anything specific that'll be my highest priority, then please let me know. Um, I, I really like doing this kind of stuff. I've been very busy recently, but yeah, it's just, just been hard recently just to get videos out, but hopefully I can get more out soon. So. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.